smash the button. This one. Ready? Let me see your little finger. It's a crepes for breakfast kind of day. Yeah. So I've got the crepe mixture over here in the blender. I'm gonna bring it over here so I can get it better. And I'm using my fourth of a cup measuring cup. Got some butter melted in there. And we just pour it in. I'm very excited about this. I didn't end up making these over the weekend like I was going to, so today is the day. Manly's already up. He's over there having a yogurt right now. I've got him on a cartoon. It feels like a Saturday. It's not Saturday, but it's summer. Inspector Gadget, he calls it dun 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 because you know the song goes dun 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 dun, dun. Inspector Gadget, yeah, you know. I get it. It's sticky, it's okay, I'll get it. What is this? Cover. Is it good? Mmm, it's good? Nana. Is it good? Nana. You want a Nana too? I had to come get his high chair. We left it out here on the porch. We were out here having a snack last night and I forgot to bring his chair back in. <laughs> you got it? You're a big helper. Okay, we're ready to flip the first one. I always wipe it out real quick before I start the next one. And I turn the heat down just a little bit and then once we get it in here, we'll turn it back up. While the crepes are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make some homemade whipped cream. I thought I kept that sugar out. I must have put it back up. I did. <laughs> All right, y'all, the crepes are done. I'm just waiting on the sausage, but I wanted to show y'all this thing I read the other day about cleaning your blender. So I just put in some hot water with a little bit of dish detergent. Now we're gonna put it back on the little base here. And now we just mash this button. Now we just rinse it with hot water and we'll see if it's clean. If it is, that is wonderful. <laughs> because I actually hate washing the blender. I also still have to wash these over here. I know I got a little bit of the crepe mixture on the outside, so I'm gonna have to wash the outside, but let's see what it did for the inside. Yep, it's clean. Oh my goodness, easiest way ever to wash the blender. Why have I never thought of that? All right, y'all, we are back. I'm gonna show y'all real quick what we got from Ingles. So I did an Aldi haul, you know, a couple of videos back. If you missed that, I'll link it down below. I got a lot of produce from there, but I still needed more stuff. So <laughs> lots of green things from Ingles. I got some limes, some peppers, lettuce, 
zucchini, um, some cilantro, and some cabbage. The cabbage we're going to be using here in just a minute to make supper. We're making grilled chicken sandwiches, which is going to be super easy because we're using the Tyson grilled chicken. I'm also going to be cooking some of the chicken from Aldi that tastes like the Chick-fil-A chicken because not everybody likes these grilled chicken patties. Anyway, to go on the grilled chicken ones, I'm going to make some apple slaw. So I need cabbage, and I got some apples, some bananas. I got a watermelon while I was in there. I hope this is a good one. Y'all know the last one that we got from Ingalls was really good. And these were on sale, so I went ahead and got another one. This, this is not exactly like those watermelons were, though, so hopefully we get a good one. Anyway, watermelon drama. On to the bread. I already have some hamburger buns here, but I needed a few more. And these, Nature's Own ones, were marked down to $1.98. So I got that pack of those. I grabbed two gallons of milk. I needed some vegetable oil. They were out of like almost all of the Laura Lynn kind except a really huge one. So I just went with that kind. I got a rotisserie chicken. This is going to be for supper tomorrow night, which is also going to be on the next What's for Dinner video. And I'm excited about this one. It's two really, I think they're going to be really good recipes. So got a rotisserie chicken for that. We needed some ketchup. I needed sour cream. And the Laura Lynn sour cream, um, these smaller ones were on sale two for a dollar so they were only 50 cents each and it was cheaper to get that than the bigger container so I got those I got two cans of cream of chicken uh, they had the spicy pimento cheese in the Laura Lynn brand so I got that I think we've tried it before in the Laura Lynn brand anyway I got some for us to try if we haven't and I got some bacon the kids are excited about these let me go ahead and show y'all these so I got some Italian ice both of these brands were on sale so I got this kind it's the red, white, and blue. So the cherry and lemon swirl is this flavor. And then this one is blue raspberry and lemon swirl. And then I got this one and it's just the lemon. So it's Lindy's homemade Italian ice lemon. And I, I'm excited about that one. They're excited about these. I'm excited about this one. <laughs> this brand, this was on sale for $2.50 and this one was on sale for $3. So I got those. We have some steak fries, some corn and chicken. This is for the other what's for dinner recipe. Then I got two boxes of chicken stuffing mix. That's for one of the recipes coming up. And these Oreos, y'all, it's red, white, and blue stuffed in there. I couldn't resist. I got it. They were on sale, so I got it. There's six packs of those in there with two little cookies and then six packs of the just regular double stuff Oreos. Uh, Fruity Pebbles were on sale. Buy one, get one free. So I got the regular and the Cocoa Pebbles. And sparkling water i really like this waterloo water we got the strawberry you know the last time um that we went to ingles and it was really good so they still had it they still had it on sale so i got a strawberry one this time lemon lime and watermelon i was looking for the grape because several of y'all told me that the grape is the best in the waterloo brand but they didn't have any grape they did have black cherry but I've tried black cherry and a couple of other sparkling waters and I didn't really like that flavor. So y'all let me know if you tried the Waterloo black cherry, how it is. So I just went with those three this time. And that's it. So I'm going to put this stuff up real quick and then we're making apple slaw. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're going to shred up this cabbage. I am only making half of this recipe because... Not everybody wants to eat this um, applesaw, and we've actually never tried it before. I just saw this on an advertisement. I think it was a Sara Lee, some kind of their hamburger buns advertisement for this applesaw on a grilled chicken sandwich, and it sounded really good, so we're trying it. First, I'm just shredding up some cabbage. I need about a cup. My oven beeps. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in. I have six pieces of the chicken from Aldi and then three of the grilled chicken because most people want the Aldi kind. Okay, so that's about a cup of cabbage. I don't mind if there's some bigger pieces here and there. I'm going to go ahead and put this inside this bowl, and then we're also going to shred up an apple. And I'm going to try to make it where it's long pieces of apple, because that's how theirs looked on the picture. I'm also going to make some of those steak fries with this tonight. Oh yeah, that's giving me some pretty long pieces of apple. Apple's a lot easier to shred than cabbage. Now we put our apple in here with the cabbage. So I'm just gonna mix this together. Once again, I probably need that bigger bowl. I so thought this was gonna be just fine for this since I was only doing half of the recipe, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, little bowl. Every time I wanna use you, I normally have to switch it out. Okay, so I'm putting in about a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. You could also use Greek yogurt for this part, it said. 
little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and half a tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's it. Now we're just going to mix this up. I'm going to taste it and see if I think we need to add anything else. And then we'll stick it in the refrigerator while the chicken's cooking. And when the chicken is almost done, I'm going to cook the steak fries. Alright, I don't think we need to add anything else. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. I think this is going to be really good on a grilled chicken sandwich. And it's pretty. I mean, it's not looking as pretty on the camera as it is in real life, but it's really pretty. <laughs> Okay, y'all, the apple slaw with that grilled chicken is very good. I don't think I would eat that slaw like as a side dish, but on the sandwich with the grilled chicken, it is amazing. Like the tastes just go together. Like peanut butter and jelly, bread and butter. Chocolate and biscuits. I thought he was gonna say chocolate and milk, but he said chocolate and biscuits. <laughs> firefly catching night again look at all of them it reminds me of was it robin hood oh my goodness do y'all see all of those that's amazing was it the movie robin hood with the firefly scene and there were fireflies like everywhere you know the old cartoon uh robin hood movie <laughs> they're so pretty it's like little sparkles everywhere yeah firefly And that's you.